Hi guys, good day. Welcome to today on Princess Anu TV. Hope you're doing fine. Hope you're doing great today. And welcome to the episode 4 of today's metrology series. Yeah, we're still going to be discussing about metrology today. And I'm going to be doing uh, the IASA uh, atmospheric figures. So we have like temperature, pressure, density. There are specific figures that IASA has, that's ICAO standard atmosphere. They've all agreed internationally that these are the figures we're going to be using. So you have mean sea level temperatures, you have mean sea level altitude, uh, mean sea level density, we have mean sea level pressures and all that. So we're going to be discussing about today. But before we go there, I'd like to announce the winner for the second episode yeah i told you guys to answer the last question and somebody got it correct which is md congratulations md yeah that's his name just on the screen as you can see it today so in case you're new here and you don't know me i'm princess anu i'm a commercial pilot license holder i'm also a student pilot because yeah we are still in training and in case you're new to this channel this channel is all about aviation motivation an adventure and if you've not yet subscribed do me a favor click on the subscribe button and the bell so that whenever i post any video you'll be able to see it let's go straight into this before we uh talk about those figures like you know we have to define what temperature is because i don't want to assume that you have not forgotten yes i know they taught you in secondary school they taught you in primary school but there's a possibility that you might have forgotten and like you know temperature is the degree of hotness or coldness of anybody like you can hold this and they say what's the temperature of this particular marker you have to check the degree of coldness or hotness of this particular marker so we are going to be defining the EASA temperature and uh, the mean sea level temperature though we talked about it yesterday because we used it to solve but we still have to talk about it today so we are still in metrology this is going to be the last um episode on atmosphere for metrology so we're going to discuss other things as we go further so for temperature which i've already said is the degree of coldness and hotness of anybody yes that temperature is plus 15 degrees celsius plus 15 degrees celsius we use this to do most of our calculations in like yesterday we solved uh we tried to get yasa temperature for that particular height that we were given and we also try to get yasa deviation so for anything you want to solve you must always make reference to this and funny enough it's not only in metrology you have to make reference to this you also have to make reference to this even in aerodynamics you have to make reference to this in navigation you also have to make reference to this so like i said i would like to repeat it again temperature is the degree of hotness or coldness so even when you're flying we need to always keep the temperature normal both for the passengers and even for the aircraft so when you check your engine instrument you need to be sure that your temperature is always in green sector pressure in green sector those are the things you're always checking t's and p's t's and p's so let's move over guys to the pressure aspect pressure which is force per unit area and you know a force that is exerted so you know a force that is exerted so you see at, at uh, low altitudes the pressure is more but as you keep going higher the pressure like is reduced so these are where you have the increasing and decreasing of a thing so we say for pressure for pressure itself, like we always talk about the QNH and all that, is 10, 13, decimal 25. For the pressure itself, it is 10, 13, decimal 25 hectopascal. So pressure is always looked at in hectopascal. And don't forget, it's the first per unit area. So if you want to use it for short, so the, the, the calculation for this is first per unit area. So this is the calculation for pressure. And ISR has all agreed that QNH means sea level. This is what we always use. So you see, when you call a controller and he says pressure is standard, and you ask, I uh, request QNH. Like, let me use for instance, uh, good day, Zara Tower. This is 5 November. I'm going to be using Princess Anu TV for example. This is 5 November, Papa Alpha Tango. Request QNH. And they tell you QNH is standard. They are trying to tell you that QNH is actually 10, 13, that's about 2, 5 hectopascal so let's move over guys to the next one under these parameters we also have density like you know normal we also have density here which is mass per unit volume so we can also say uh if you want to use the formula for density they always put it like this like 
kind of kind of a p q <laughs> kind of a p format so you see density is mass per unit volume but now the the standard which they use the mean sea level uh, density is one two two five grams per meter cube one two two five grams per meter cube so if you look at it mean sea level temperature is plus 15 degrees celsius pressure is 10 13 decimal two five hectopascal and density is one two two five grams per meter cube these things always come out in aviation and you will continue to see them you can't do with all these figures and that's why i say before we go to the next chapter uh, the next chapter yeah because the first chapter in that oxford manual is actually chapter one which talks about the atmosphere you have to discuss this before you move over because these things they will keep on repeating themselves over and over again and there's also something i want you to look at just on your screen You're going to be seeing a table on your screen. And if you see that table, uh, they are talking about, just like we discussed yesterday, concerning the different temperatures that are from the tropo troposphere and the stratosphere. There's something I also want to point out, which we are going to discuss just roughly, uh, sharply about the lapse rate. So, from the troposphere till the tropopause you have a specific uh temperature which as you keep going higher it reduces by 1.98 degrees celsius per 1000 feet we talked about this over and over again yesterday because we used it to solve a question and now in case you've not uh watched that video i'm going to be leaving a link of that video up here do well to check that uh and follow throughout the series also something i want to mention which is from that tropopause i told you that it now stops at the tropopause so from the tropopause the temperature remains constant till it gets to about 20 kilometers so i want to talk about that particular temperature that remains constant we need to know the value because you're also going to be using it in aviation Like we talked about, I keep drawing this because this is actually the repre representation of the atmosphere. And so we have the troposphere here, like I said, we have the stratosphere here, we have, you know, the mesosphere and the thermosphere. So here, from this which you have the tropopause here, from this place, temperature always decreases by 1.98 degrees Celsius. It always, it always decreases per 1,000 feet. Which for, calcul for calculation purposes, we always use 2 degrees per 1,000 feet. But now from here to about 20 kilometers, you have a constant temperature. That's minus 56.5, minus 56.5 degrees Celsius. This is what you have from this tropos tropopause till 20 kilometers. Then from this ki 20 kilometers the same thing begins a different thing begins to happen we're going to talk about this maybe in another episode but we are using this to kind of end what we have concerning the atmosphere today so guys i hope you've learned a lot about the atmosphere i hope you learned this calculation because trust me if you come into aviation if you want to become a pilot or even a flight attendant or a flight dispatcher or an engineer you're going to be using all these calculations that i'm talking about today so please do not take it for granted and that's all we have for today's episode so still i meet you even in the next video keep watching princess Anu tv if you've not subscribed do me a favor click on the subscribe button and the bell so that you don't miss anything on this channel like you know we always do interesting facts and everything that you need to know so guys till i catch you next time bye <coughs>